Okay, so in the previous video, I showed you how to optimize your settings um, from the algorithmic strategy, strategy building tool that we've created previously. Um, we generated the source code, we loaded the source code into CTrader, we built it, um, and we ran optimization to get the best possible parameters. The parameters were selected here by clicking apply. I'm in the optimization window now. Now these are all the parameters. Now these parameters are automatically applied to your CBOT instance down here. So we're going to run a back test now for the same time period, 14th of the 12th, 2022 to 14th of the 12th, 2023. And we're going to use the same back test settings, which is starting capital and spread. So I'm going to click on the back test tab. I'm also going to actually make sure we're using the same settings. It's just historical data and 14th. You can experiment with different time frames. You can, um, there's all sorts of things you can do with optimizing parameters. You can optimize parameters for one year previously and run back tests on future dates just to see what would happen on fresh data. There's lots of things you can do. It's called recalibration. There's no harm in optimizing your parameter settings for your indicators. Um, it's better than doing nothing, I suppose. So what we're going to do now is we've got the right uh, back test dates. If I click on the settings tab, I'm going to make sure I've got the starting capital and the spread correct. Now, if I run this, this should show the almost the similar results that we did from our optimization. So there you go. It's gone ahead and showed a 6% increase. But if you go to trade statistics down here, it's got a very low equity drawdown of 1% or 1.43. So if you wanted to risk a little bit more or you're a bit more um, risk adverse, we can increase the lot size. So if I went up to lot size of 0.1, run the back test. And here you can see it's got a much higher one, but a 60, 65% net profit. Um, so you can experiment with your position size to get something that you're happy with. Again, these remember that with a back test, the results that you're seeing here are not the results that you'll get on uh, data that you're going to run in the future. This is just um, fitting the data for historical um, historical values that you're getting. So the rule of thumb is you run a back test just to make sure that your trading system is not defunct and it's just going to blow your account. Um, improve, improves probability that you'll do well in the future. And there's no harm in recalibration every week or every uh, two days. You just keep, re keep recalibrating your, your strategy and you run it and you experiment with it and see what you can get from there. Again, with any strategy, um, we highly recommend that you need trading experience. You shouldn't be just clicking play and expect this system to make money for you because that's very difficult. Um, so the whole idea behind it is use this as a semi-automated trading system. Um, you've got the source code for it, so you can modify the code, do whatever you want to. But this just goes to show that using the algorithmic strategy tool, you can define your trade rules, you can pick your indicators. And in this case, it's a very basic relative strength index strategy, just two relative strength index indicators, one hour, one daily, very basic. Um, all it is takes profit and stop loss. And it just goes to show you the potential that you can do from a, a simple strategy. Um, with the strategy tool, you can also add other, ind other indicators, more risk management. So you can make it more of a complex system. Um, but at the same time, because you've got this full source code, so which I'll quickly show you here, you can go through the source code and you can actually uh, make modifications yourself. You can use our development service if you want us to actually add additional features, or you could try and do it yourself or find somebody else. But this will give you a head start and actually getting started in the algo trading. And it also gives you um, a good idea how to do prototype prototyping. So you might have an idea, but you don't know if it'll work. You can prototype it using this tool. And if it works, then you can actually um, implement it. Okay. So on this case, it just shows you around about 5% drawdown, which is adequately uh, something you want to be looking for. So that's the end of the video for backtesting. Um, if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, look at the bottom of the link. It will show you how to download the product from our website, clickalgo.com. So it should be easy on the comments that we've pinned a comment that you can actually click on to download. Okay, thank you.